Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Crazy fantasy fight here upon request. Prime BJ Penn versus Tony Ferguson. Let's hop right into this fantasy matchup. BJ Penn's 5'9 with a 70 inch reach. His mixed martial arts record is 16 wins, 14 losses, 2 draws. He is the former UFC lightweight and welterweight champ, fought across four weight divisions if I'm not mistaken, BJJ Phenom winning gold in 2000 at the World Jiu Jitsu Championships, mixed martial arts legend through and through, in his prime, great hands, knockout power, his grappling was overwhelming, the way BJ utilized his legs as like an extra set of arms, impressive. His takedown defense was stellar, iron cast chin, tough. Tony Ferguson, 5'11", 76 and a half inch reach. El Kukui has an MMA record of 25 wins, 3 losses. He is the former UFC interim lightweight champ. Ferguson holds the record in the UFC for the most consecutive lightweight wins with 12. Considered to be one of the greatest lightweights to ever do it, Tony has some of the best cardio we have ever seen in the sport. His stand-up is wild and unorthodox, throws everything at you, punches, kicks, elbows, knees. He can wrestle, his grappling is very dangerous and tricky. He is very durable with great recovery, as tough as they come, extreme will to win. So the matchup between these two. Let me speak on BJ Penn for a sec. For those of you guys new to the sport or have just recently seen BJ fight, currently Penn is less than a shell of what he was. Prime Penn was a force of nature, a straight up killer in the cage and had that it factor. There's a reason many of his peers and other greats hold him in such high regard and some even call him the GOAT. You're probably thinking, how with a record of 16 and 14? Records guys don't tell the whole story. No disrespect to BJ but he has been fighting way past his prime. He fought in weight classes he didn't belong in, took fights he probably shouldn't have, but that was BJ Penn. A true fighter through and through. Those that know, know. I've been a fan of this sport since like the 90s. I promise you BJ Penn was an animal. Now on to Tony Ferguson. Tony's something special. He really is one of the greatest fighters to ever compete in the lightweight division. And honestly, one of the best fighters we have ever seen in the sport, period. An absolute savage that can attack you and hurt you in many ways. So Prime Penn versus Prime Ferguson. Wow. I think they can both finish each other. On Penn's end, it will come from the hands and boxing. We have seen Tony get clipped, but he does come back. I don't think BJ was sub Tony unless he was like really stunned from strikes. Then a possible rear naked choke. The grappling, I think, would cancel itself out. Tony's really good on the ground. If Tony were to stop BJ, it would come from relentless pressure and during the early onslaught and warn him out for the later stoppage or decision win. BJ was insanely hard to knock out or stop, still has a great chin, but if he was gassed, the accumulation of strikes from Ferguson would get it done. I'm torn on this one, probably going to get some flack for this pick, but I think Prime Ferguson would beat Prime BJ Penn but it would be an amazing fight skill set wise if it were possible. For me, Tony wins 60-40. Give him the edge due to the great grappling that negates BJ's, Tony's durability, his cardio, and diversity on the feet. That's what locks the win in for me for Tony. Major respect to BJ Penn. I think people have forgotten how amazing he was. And the really new fans have no clue the monster that BJ Penn was. Don't believe me? Go check out old pen fights. Anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this fantasy fight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click subscribe, like, and share. Let me know who you think wins in the comment section. Prime Pen versus Prime Ferguson. Who takes it? Until the next segment guys, take care.